Hi, it's Matt from Tubby Tarot. Welcome back to another deck review. Today we're going to be looking at the Art Nouveau Le Normand. The Art Nouveau Le Normand um, is by Lene Weatherstone with artwork by Antonello Castelli. It is also a Le Scarabeo deck and I'm very surprised at the actual box that this comes in for Le Scarabeo. Um, normally they put things in tuck boxes and horrible little boxes and this comes in a beautiful large box. Um, it's, a, it's quite a big um, Lenormand deck. Uh, it's actually a very big Lenormand deck but it comes in this beautiful box, beautiful purple inside. It's got this little ribbon so it's very, it's very upmarket, it's a very upmarket boxing. Okay, um, and as you can see, the cards are pretty big. Now, the Norman cards, as you know, are much smaller than um, normal Oracle or uh, Tarot cards. So this is a very, very large um, deck. Okay, it does come with a little booklet. It's the same as the as the cover. A uh, booklet gives you some pretty interesting stuff. Um, it is in 400 languages, as you can imagine, and it gives you the basic basics of each card. <laughs> okay, let's go through this deck um, card by card. Okay, there are only 36 cards in the deck. Now, first of all, let's have a look at the back of the card. Beautiful cover, color, um, gorgeous, so beautifully done. Um, it's one of those cards you don't actually want to edge because the, the borders are beveled. It's, it's, just, it's just absolutely gorgeous. The card quality is actually very, very good for Le Scarabeo. They've really gone out on a limb here. It's beautiful. I've edged mine in a very, very soft pink, as you can see, which will go with the theme of the actual cards. Okay, let us run through these cards quickly. Okay, so we have the Horseman. Okay, we have the Clover. All right. We have the Ship. We have the House. Now, look at this artwork. It is beautifully done. It really is gorgeous. You have the Tree. You can see why the cards are big because they've got a lot of border, a lot of sort of scroll work with just the number. Now here you have the clouds. Here you have the snake. Now you can see that it's very traditional. However, the cards do not have the name of what it is or the um, playing deck association. It just has the number. So you need to know what this is all about. You need to know that, okay, that's the coffin, that's the snake. But it's, it's pretty, pretty basic. That is the coffin. Now, this could either be the lady or the bouquet. Now, we know that it's number nine, it's the bouquet. Okay, there. Here you have the scythe. Here you have the whip and the broom. And this one's quite interesting. What is this? What is this? Okay, this is the birds. There they are. Okay, but again, you've got a kind of look. It's not a, it's not a card that you're going to go, ah, the birds. You see this lady. This is an easy one. That's the child. Here we have the fox. I kind of like the fox. I think he's cool. And my favorite card in the whole deck is the bear. He just looks, I mean, it almost looks like he's drooling. Okay, here we have the star. The stalk or stalks. And here we have the dog. Lovely little dog card. Okay. Here we have the tower card. And here, this is the garden. All right. It's different to the normal garden where you would see the little pathway and then the fountain. This is more nature inspired. Here we have the mountain. The road. Quite a chilly looking road that looks like snow to me. Here we have the mice, very nice mice card. And here we have the heart. Again, not too difficult to, um, to make out. This, however, is quite difficult because this is the ring. Okay, but unless you actually know that, um, it's quite difficult to see because the ring is so tiny. This is the book or the journal. Again, difficult, it's just there it is there. And this is the letter, okay? There's the letter. All right. This is the gentleman 
or the man and this is the lady okay this is the um, the lily this is the sun the moon again here difficult the key because she's just holding the key the fish and the anchor and the cross tiny little cross there it is so yeah it's a big beautiful deck gorgeously illustrated but it's not a deck that you could perhaps do a full um, grand tableau with the cards are too big um, and also the cards are not that that easy to read at a glance you have to really kind of focus on things like that or um, things like the key okay but it's a gorgeous little deck it is the Art Nouveau in Lenormand um, easily available not a terribly expensive deck but definitely one that is quite quite beautiful I'm Matt from Tubby Tarot and I will see you next week for another card review